Hey, hello everyone. My name is Sander Kokard and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for joining me here today. And you guys have been asking about rendering videos on the Dell XPS 15, as well as my workstation PC. Now today we're just gonna be focusing on the laptop. And this is gonna be specifically for rendering times in Adobe Encoder. The, the timeline performance, I mean, I'll just tell you what I know and it's that it's pretty darn good. Although if you want good timeline performance, drag the playhead line and not the actual playhead. That goes pretty slow, don't know why, but something with Premiere going on. Drag the line, it will go a lot smoother and your timeline performance is actually really, really good. So, with that being said, let's talk a little bit about the, like the pre-settings that I did. Uh, you're gonna hit 100 degrees on this if you're rendering. It's inevitable unless you, well, in that case, not completely inevitable. <laughs> but the only way to do this properly with proper thermals is to limit the turbo or just completely disable the turbo, which is gonna result in longer rendering times, of course, but it's gonna have better thermals. So if you're concerned about thermals, Get something like throttle stop, disable the turbo altogether, or limit the turbo, the turbo power limit to reduce the temperature significantly because it runs really, really hot all the time when you're rendering. And depending on what type of render you're doing, you're gonna hit a pretty large time limit or a pretty high, uh, high uh, amount of time taken just to render out the video. So I have done multiple setting differences, uh, but the laptop was always at the ultra performance power setting in Dell Power Manager, which is important to get the best guaranteed performance, highest fan speeds, highest clock speeds, that old thing. And when it comes to settings in videos, I tested a bunch. So I tested H.264 and H.265 at 1080p and 4K with max depth enabled and disabled at 50 megabits and 100 megabits, which results in about 16 tests per machine, which is amazing. I think you guys will love it. It took a long time to render out though. So uh, if you like the video in the end, you know, show some appreciation and hit that like button. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Or actually, before I mention that, this is the video that I am editing in, or that I'm uh, rendering out. It is the raw editing or the, the raw preview video, sorry, that I shot recently. And it basically pasted three of them in a row, which is a time of a video about almost 10 minutes. And I added some crazy color filters to it to basically mimic you, your guys' workflow of having tons of color editing on it. Uh, I messed around with the creative settings. I messed around with the basic correction and uh, all that being said, I should also mention that between each test, uh, I ran a 10 to 15 minute break. So just doing nothing on the laptop, just to let it cool off so that the testing is fair. So let's jump in. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about the differences between the two codecs. You, I'm sure you're aware, like what differences are between the two codecs, H.264 versus H.265. I'm just gonna give you the results. And keep in mind that the 2160p footage rendered is 1080p footage being upscaled to 2160p. So take that with a grain of salt as native 4K footage may be faster, but may also not be. So that's something I cannot test. I don't have 4K native footage. So with that being said, let's get started. So H.264 1080p 50 megabits per second, four second, four minutes, sorry, four minutes and 26 seconds. Then when the max def is turned off, it reduces it by a minute or uh, 40 seconds, I should say. And then when we do it to 100 megabits per second, there's basically no difference. Uh, compared to 50 megabits per second. It's basically the same. The first one with 100 megabits per second max depth on is slightly longer, whereas the max depth being off for 100 megabits per second is slightly shorter than the previous one. So at that point, moment, I'm just gonna say the difference between 50 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second, the difference is negligible. You're not gonna notice it at all. 2160p. That's when we're gonna start noticing things. 2160p, max def being on 15 minutes and 45 seconds. Holy cow. So it takes about three times as long, more than three times as long just to render out this particular video. And then when we do max def off, it is just double that. So eight minutes and 10 seconds. So double the time for max def off and triple the time for max def on 
on pixels that don't exist. Again, it's upscaled, so you gotta keep that in mind, but that's what happens, and the time's pretty significant here. Then for 100 megabits per second, the time is shorter with a 15 minute and 39 second mark, and a eight minute on the max def being off. So, as you can see, the differences between 50 to 100 megabits per second is negligible. So, then to go to H.265, 1080p, 50 megabits per second, 9 minutes and 37 seconds, max def being on. That's pretty amazing. And then when max def is off, little to no difference at 9 minutes to 17 seconds, which is pretty amazing. And then again for 100 megabits per second, 9 minutes and 35 seconds, 9 minutes and 18 seconds for max def off. So that's pretty amazing, pretty straightforward results here on H.265. But then when we start going up to 2160p, time increases more than double that of the normal results. So we get a max def on with 24 minutes and 48 seconds with 50 megabits per second, 2160p H.264 or H.265 footage. Then when we turn the max death off, we get 24 minutes and two seconds. So about 40 seconds shorter. Then when we go to 100 megabits per second, we get 24 minutes and 20 seconds. So again, like I said, there's no difference whatsoever. It should take longer, but it's not taking longer in case versus the 50 megabits per second version with max death on 24 minutes and 48 seconds. And then H.265, 2160p, 100 megabits per second, maxed up off, results in 23 minutes and 37 seconds. So overall, the render times, they're all right. Just know that with doing upscaling, you're probably going to double the time of rendering usually. And max def being on or off in H.264 is going to result in another doubling of the time. So overall results I think are pretty great. Compared to my PC, it is really good for a mobile chip. You cannot complain about that. And the results are pretty amazing. So this hopefully answers your questions. If you have any further questions or things that you wanna ask or other videos that you have at request, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, you know, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram or Discord, join our Discord community. If you have any further questions as well, you can talk to me there personally. Same goes for Twitter and Instagram. Don't be afraid, I don't bite. You can just contact me there or of course in the comments. And uh, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.